Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Black Ops 3. Today we're on a custom map known as the Sanctuary. So this is actually the Sanctuary from the Walk of Dead series, where Negan resides until he gets, uh, let's just say, evicted. Um, so we're just going to try to play through this. There is a small easter egg that we can do with a couple cool steps and a couple cool custom guns and all kinds of goodies. So we're going to play through this and see how it is. I have played this a few times. It's a fun map. Um, there's a couple cool guns as well. I'm just gonna let all the zombies come in, take them out. Um, I think we could lay down a quick revive too, get a little extra points. And then there's also a shield to build. There is a custom gun. There is a ending that you have to unlock and then buy, I believe. And then we got the pack. We can also double pack, triple pack as many packs as we want. There's a song, all sorts of goodies. We got a little bit of points here. We're gonna start opening up. The box is all the way over there. Um, maybe we'll head towards that way first then. There's also some shield parts in the area we have to look for. There's a couple spots it could be. There's a first piece out, usually out here somewhere. If not, then it could also be over there. Which, oh, there we go, car door. That's one of them. Just going to try to rack up some points real quick. Got some of the map here. Saber, save us. We are still Negan. Map is done very well. Props to the uh, crater. So one of the rooms of the sanctuary. This might be Dwight's room. I know it's been a little while since I looked at the rooms. And this is a special room here for once you get all the bears. Part of the Easter egg. One of the things that we'll have to fill is empty five on the wall there. Build a bull for the shield. Max ammo. Look who it is, boys. Negan. He's here with his bat, Lucille. So cool thing is, he'll just kind of wander around for now. But once we uh, damage him enough, he'll actually start sprinting at us. Then he becomes a little bit of a... Uh, ooh, zombie blood. A little bit of a, a menace. Let's see if we can snipe him a few times. I don't know how much damage this is going to do. So the zombie blood is like weird too because he still comes after you. He just can't hit you. There we go. And then we picked up Lucille once we kill him. And this is a one-shot melee weapon. You just have to be careful because you kind of do like a little bit of a uh, wind up and sometimes you get kind of stuck. But other than that, it's a pretty cool little, little bat here. Some extra points. This door. Oh, it's already open. Sweet. And it is over here somewhere. Over here in the corner. There we go. Now there's also these candles with these notes we'll have to pay attention to. That one's a zero for the yellow. Grab that. Um, we'll need those notes so we can turn on the pack-a-punch. And then also right here, you can put your weapon down. So if you want to trade... Oh, what the hell? Fancy. Um, you can trade. So if you're playing with friends or something you give them a gun which is pretty sweet all right so that's a zero there's also one in here this is a blue one that's also zero sweet all zeros that'd be nice i think there's also a red one in the factory which we're going to go to next all right so here's the factory over here this is usually where i open up first but um i wanted to go get that box spin get the double tap there we'll also need to open this once we find negan again can also come up here and it's a really good spot to kind of hang out all right we're just about done with this round and the last candle's chilling here on the table the red one seven so it should be 007 or maybe like 700 so if you come over here to where we open finish these guys up oh it's gonna be 700 all right so just press f until you get to the number you need and that will just flash green. That will open up this little shack here. Now this max ammo will stay there all game, so you don't have to worry about that. But we do need this wrench. If we get close enough, we can pick that up. You'll hear a little noise. And then that will give that to you. And then I think we have to turn some valves, which will get rid of those flames. And then we can pack a punch. Which uh, pack a punch on this map is kind of important. There's one valve here. We just click on that. Got some doggos, additional dogs. They'll drop a max ammo when we're done. 
I don't know if this one... Oh, this one does reload again for you. Sweet, that's nice to know. Alright, so other than that, we can grab some perks now. Got stamina up. This is a nice perk to have. Map's not too big, so it's not mandatory, but it's always, always nice. So grab Juggeroony. Oh, we got the other valve right here next to Jug. Let's spin that. Uh, there's something else out here that I need. Oh, there's a shield part probably somewhere. Might be. There it is. It's this piece right here. That is the dolly. Ooh, I want to see if I'm going to buy the buoy and get some extra points. Oh, fuck. That kind of scared me a little bit, boys. <laughs> Alright, well, now we got all the uh, shield parts. We're going to head into the factory. There's a couple of blink spots, but I think this one's one of the easier ones to do. And if you need to pick it up again, you just come over and grab it. Build this real quick. There we go. Zombie shield. You know, they call it the transit shield as well. Oh, look at it all. Can I slice him? Oh, he has a wind up, so I could just sit here and slice him. As long as nobody gets me from behind. Wait, I'm just gonna stake you in. Get all his voice lines, too. Man, he's got some health on him. But yeah, he's pretty easy to take down. You just kind of have to light him up. There we go. All right. We're also going to open this door, this side here just so we don't have to worry. Oh, we have to go around. Okay. Have to get over there real quick before this runs out. Cool custom animation this thing's got at the bottom too, the little logo. Alright, come over here, you can break this down, and then you'll have to grab this gold ingot. And we can grab all the perks on this map too, so once we get enough, we'll do that. Oh, we also have to grab the last uh, valve, we'll do that while the round is starting. That one is all the way over here. Right over here. There we go. So that will basically turn off all the fire on the Pack-a-Punch machine, which then allows us to Pack-a-Punch, which we will need the Pack-a-Punch to finish the rest of the Easter Egg and complete the map. Sweet, actually, so here's a Zombie Blood, and I forgot to mention this, but if you get a Zombie Blood, you want to run around the map and you're going to see those little guys, those little bodies, those skeletons that are just kind of sitting there that are red, and one of them will have a little uh orb that we'll need to pick up on them these guys you have to run around and look for them while you have zombie blood and one of them will have that piece that we'll have to pick up that's basically what we put down those uh soul trap things to fill up Ooh, an mg34 nice nice old point maker all right let's take out negan Room. <laughs> oh, I gotta reload. I Damn. Like that. Destroyed him. There's also these little radios around the map. This is part of the Easter egg. Well, not Easter egg, part of the song. Uh, we will need a pack of gun for this next part, so while we're waiting for the next zombie blood, we can run around the map with a pack punch gun and we could shoot all the teddy bears. And they'll disappear once you've hit them. So this is going to be to get the crossbow, Daryl's crossbow, actually, which we'll need for the next part as well. All right, and then there's one right over here. There we go. Right up top there. Another teddy bear all the way up there. There we go. There is another radio in here. And there's a teddy bear here. Turn around here. There's a teddy bear. Oh, here he is up here. And then there's just one over here by Jug in the corner. We go. I think that might be it. Might have to uh, double check that. Open this up. I'm going to grab Electric Cherry. We're going to need this as well. We'll get one of these cores from Electric Cherry over here. So we will have to reload with Electric Cherry next to this fuse box. That will drop this crane right over here. And that will give us one of the fuses. So this fuse is going to have to go into one of these fuse machines. And then we'll have to fill this up like a soul machine. So we'll do that. 
Oh, there's also another guy sitting over there. I forgot about that one. And then this last radio. That should start the song if I pressed it. I don't know if I pressed it. But I'm going to lead all these guys over here too. Yep, there goes the song. Nice. We're here to this, and I'm just going to fill this up. This is where this perk comes in handy, because you can see where they're coming from. Ooh, we got zombie blood. Let's take a look here. We got one in this factory. There we go. There it is. So that's a blood fuse, and we'll have to place that down in one of these. Oh, that's the furnace one. We have to find the blood one. This is the blood one here. I'll charge that up. All right, boys, I got this MG34, which you know, and I got this chainsaw. Oh, yeah. I think I got this uh, last time I played this, and it was pretty banging. So lure everybody up and then mow them down. Cut them up. Bang. The Terminator. All right, so that one's filled. The next thing is we got to go right, right in here. Now it's open, and there's Daryl's crossbow. This thing's pretty beastly. Right now it's a little bit weak, but it gets much better. But I also want to get one more thing since I have this explosive crossbow. PhD slider. Which I'm guessing is just flopper. Or I don't know what I know. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can't flop, you just slide. But now I don't have to worry about explosive damage, which is the most important. So, now that we got the crossbow, we can not get stuck, hopefully. I think this might increase your explosive damage, too, because it seems like it's a lot stronger. We can head back to the Pack-A-Punch, and we'll have to Pack-A-Punch this thing. And now we have Daryl's Eruptive Crossbow. Check this out. You can charge him up, or you can just lay him out. And it leaves behind, like, a little bit of, like, a molten field that just mutilate the zombies. Kind of feels like one of the specialist weapons, the way it charges up, but either way, it's freaking sweet. It's kind of like the Blood Furnace uh, pack-a-punch thing. For some reason, there's a lot to Negan, though. But it also has unlimited ammo, which is pretty sweet. Wow, it really doesn't do anything to Negan. All right, we're about the MG. Oh, just melted him. Here's what we'll have to do. There we go. And then we'll put the gold in there, and that takes about two rounds to melt. So we kind of just have to hang out for that. There we go, boys. There's the utility room key, which we'll then need to come over here by dead shot. Jump over these sandbags into this room. And it's something in here. There it is. The furnace fuse. Now we'll take that fuse, head to the main room here. Ooh, that was close. Pop that in there and let it rip. All right, so after you fill up that last one, come over here and initiate the lockdown process. So this basically put a wall that you can't really leave and you're just gonna have to hold out here. I just packed all my guns up. I got fireworks on this guy and I got an M4 with Thunderwall. Also, your shield does break occasionally if you get, take too much damage. Um, so about a round ago, I purposely... Oh, there, I think that was it. Yep, there we go. Um, let it break so I can grab a new one. And there we go, boys. There's how you escape. Um, made it around 26. And we're going to hit the escape button. It costs 25k. And there we go. We completed the game. I don't think there's anything special. It's just a game over. And that kind of just recaps everything. 800 kills. No downs. Sweet. But yeah, that is the Sanctuary from the Walking Dead series. It's available on the workshop on Steam for Black Ops 3. Hope you enjoyed. Drop another uh, map down below if you're interested in anything. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.